After finishing 21st in his first-ever Elite Series tournament at Toledo Bend, Kyle finds himself at Lake Fork just five days later. Pretty fired up to get out there. Had a little weather change come through, so I'm hoping that my fish somewhat stay put, but uh, we're gonna go out and have fun regardless. You know, we got the uh, first Elite event off our back at Toledo, had a decent finish there, so um, looking forward to just going out, having fun, um, and hopefully catching us a bag. Stay tuned. Lake Fork is a reservoir with a surface area of about 27,000 acres and has become one of the premier trophy bass fishing lakes in the world. Kyle wastes little time proving that. Oh my god. 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 Oh. Tail zeroed. I can't even shake it so bad. It broke. It's okay, we got another clip. Hold on, is this 24 inches? I could keep it in the well. Yeah. Where, can you get the scale out, please? Wait, wait. Get the scale, you get the scale. Zeroed? Yeah. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Nine pounds, eight ounces, confirmed. Because of a state regulation, Lake Fork is a catch, weigh, and release tournament. Therefore, bass that measure between 16 and 24 inches in length must be released back into the lake. This is designed to ensure the conservation of the bass population and to maintain Lake Fork as a premier fishing destination. That got me pumped up. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught in a tournament. What's crazy about that fish is it's not even gonna be friggin' lunker. No, seriously. Zero. 
pounds, 13. 13. Hey, do you care if I go behind you, Hunter? Thanks, dude. Stay on. Hey, it's a two and a half. I did catch a nine eight. Yeah. It was crazy. The craziest fish I've ever seen landed in my life. It, it was very lucky. Very, very lucky. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Two pounds, seven. Good. Kyle finds himself in a surreal situation as he fishes alongside one of his childhood heroes, Mike Iconelli. Three years ago, I had said I was fishing next to Mike Iconelli in the Elite Series. I would have uh, not believed it. <laughs> it's cool, man. Let me know where you what you want to do. I, I'll stay. Okay. Last thing I want to do is get in anyone's way. You got a bedding fish back here. Five pounder. I got a five pounder on a bed back here. I'm gonna try to catch it. Are you kidding me? There he is, five pounds, six ounces. I called your shot on that one, baby. Good job. Too big and Three pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. Yep. Even if I don't call another time, there's no way 25 pounds is bad. There's no way. There's just no way. That's gonna help a little. Mm, maybe not. Three oh shit, sorry dude. No, but it's a three pounder. Isn't that cold one or no? No, you that's it. You have a three pounder.
a giant. Six nine. What? Yeah, boy. Boy. That's actually helpful. Three fourteen. Three fourteen. If it ends at twenty nine, whatever, I'm fine. But I really wanted to break thirty. But if I don't. That is okay, because I got kind of fortunate. That 10 pounder, my drag was so loose when I set the hook. <laughs> the bass guys were with me on that one. I promise you. Oh yeah. It was <laughs> and then I was like. Biggin. Big, big, big. That right there fires me up. God, this is my first 30 pound bag in a derby. Did we break it? We broke it. Hold on, ready? Six, I eight, six pounds, eight ounces. Six, eight. With that bag, there ain't no sense of being late, dude. You know what I mean? What? Oh my God, what a clutch call. Come on! Seventy-eight. Kyle Patrick. Hey, once I'm through checking, I can check bass track, right? Yeah. Howdy. Good job. That was a stupid day. <laughs> Holy. From Cooperstown, New York, a classic qualifier and open winner, Elite Series rookie, Kyle Patrick. 31 pounds, 15 ounces, moves into sixth place currently, and man, Lake Fork is awesome, huh? Holy smokes, that's the biggest bag I've weighed in. Um, I, I'm still speechless, to be honest. I, I did it the way, I, I caught him the way I like to, on the bank. So 
you know, I think it's going to get better as the week goes on. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's there will be multiple sentry belts. Can't wait to watch it go down. Hope you're here all the way through to Sunday. Kyle got off to a strong start yesterday and currently sits in 10th place heading into day two. Just shy of 32 pounds, yesterday's bag was his largest one day total ever in tournament bass fishing. I need to go out today and just settle in and try to catch five good ones. Obviously shooting for 30 pounds, but you know, I think, you know, with that weight, if I can catch 20 pounds, I'll be safely inside the cut and, and you know, able to swing for the fences on uh, a semifinal Saturday. So hoping to get there and, and get it done. Day two, stop two of the 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series. This is Hugan Day on the Bassmaster Elite Series. You've got to be inside the top 50 to keep your tournament alive. And moving on to semifinal Saturday, the top 10 for some championship Sunday. You feel that stump? Did you feel that stump? When Lake Fork was constructed in the 1970s, it involved flooding a vast area of forested land. Instead of clear-cutting the timber, many trees were left standing. While this approach saved time and money, it created a dangerous hazard for boaters. However, these same stumps provide excellent habitat for fish, making Lake Fork one of the top bass fisheries in the world. Excuse me. You're good, you're good. Three twelve. Three twelve. Looks better than that, didn't it? Big one. Seven pounds, eight, nine, nine ounces. Nine, seven, nine. Just the bushes. Excuse me.
five, six. Ding, ding, ding. It looked bigger, it's all right. Got me caught up in the tree. I got so worried for a second. I'm gonna let you guys know something. We're gonna catch him in here. <laughs> Four pounds in an ounce. We'll take the two and a half pounds on top of 20. Two ten. Can you send a prayer to the bass gods for me? I need one six pounder. Alrighty, we're gonna search for some new areas, all right? What do I have, 2311? 2310? All right, I feel like that's a fair weight to make it. If I don't make the cut with 32 and 2311, I don't know. I mean, oh my God, can you imagine just 12? Big one. Digging. Seven, Seven nine. Pounds. Seven pounds, nine ounces. <laughs> I better make the top 50 with 28 and 32. I'll be pretty pissed. <laughs> This place is outrageous. Dude, that spot back in that cove. Dude, loaded, loaded. All right, we need a six pounder. Six pounder, come on. Six pounder. Going in a little bit early. It's just not worth the risk. I guess my boat has problems or something. It was a pretty good day. 28 and change, you can't really complain with that. My prop shaft's bent so badly. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's get ready to web our very first angler, an elite series a rookie from Cooperstown, New York. Get loud for Kyle Patrick. Hey. I got big ones. Yeah. What, what? Big ones. I'm, I'm holding up my fish. Okay, no, no, you're not, but you've caught him today, 28 pounds and five ounces, and we have a brand new leader at the AFCO Bassmaster Elite on Lake Fork. A great tournament you're having here, and boy, 
You rookies, um, you, you, you might might be in trouble. You keep at one point today. We looked at the leaderboard, and five out of the top ten were rookies. Are you concerned that a bunch of these veterans might meet you guys at the monkey bars after school and whoop your butt? Yeah, I think about it. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, no. I mean, the rookies are amazing this year. Truly, I um, can't say enough. Can't say how hard it is to make it through the opens with all nine and. And, you know, the guys that did it this year, it's clearly showing that they're prepared to travel, um, you know, the financial side of things. Um, they, they've got, you know, everything going for them. So it's pretty cool to see. You're part of it. And it looks like you've made our top 50. So we'll see you tomorrow. After another monstrous bag, Kyle finds himself in ninth place at the start of day three. This is Kyle's second cut in as many weeks to start his elite career, but now the focus has shifted to securing a top 10 and a possible century belt. Got a live camera today out here on Fork. This place is mind blowing. I have 60 pounds and three ounces and I am sitting in ninth place. So I gotta go out today and catch a 30 pound bag. I mean, there, there's, there's no, there shouldn't be any other goal and there isn't any other goal, but to catch 30. So. Um, hopefully we can get that done and lean on some giants. our way back into the juice, boys. <laughs> it's time to get real, boys. Running the trolling motor with shoes on is like the worst. Got him. It's not a big one, but it'll help. I don't even think I need to go flipping. Stay here, sweetheart. It's a start. They're finicky, man. Zeroed? Zeroed. Two pounds, 11 ounces. 211. Oh, they're still here, boys. They are still here. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Gosh, I wanted that to be a seven pounder. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. How are they all so small this time? Stay. Two pounds, eight ounces. Please be a bass. Please be a bass. Yep, it's not a giant one, but it's a good one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, it's not a big one. Pretty though. Look how he's hooked. It was fighting so weird. Just when I was about to leave. It pains me to stay here when I'm not catching big ones, but I just have a feeling. I mean, there was three with that fish. At some point, I'm gonna get those females to bite. There's a lot of big females too. Stay right there. Yeah, the males are incredibly active. 
I still can't even get some of them to bite though. I figured this would happen at some point when they'd lock on like this. This makes it a lot harder. I'm probably gonna switch baits in a little bit. There's the female, I see her. That's a good one. No, stay pinned. Yes, sir. That line went Donk. <laughs> oh, that's a cool fish catch, man. Donk. <laughs> I mean, it's no giant, but it'll help. Five pounds, three ounces. I have three. Can I say it one more time for the camera? Donk. <sighs> Bye, sweetie. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Dude, that is just awesome. Green fish tackle jig, little rubber. Woo! Dunk. I'm gonna, if, if it stays, boys, we're gonna be in business. You're like, which is still fun. Right. But that's just too fun. God, that's too fun. Hello, welcome to Kyle's boat. Dude, I think I might just happen to maul them on a jig today. Two pounds, four ounces. Two, four. Now we just need four sevens. <laughs> this leg's ridiculous. Get in here, boy. I think we might go to work. It's not a giant, but it's gonna help. Three pounds, zero ounces. Three pounds, zero ounces. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Dude, they want that jig. That, this scares me. Check it out. Fish catches. That's Lake Fork in a nutshell. Every time I grab them, man, that hurts. <laughs> it literally burns, but it feels so good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God. That's a lake fork. Chunk. <laughs> Oh my God, look at it, barely in there, hello. Five pounds, eight ounces. Look how healthy that fish is. I love you, I love you. Oh my gosh, what a fatty. Got him. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, you stay. Stay, 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 stay. Stay, 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 stay. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Yep. Man, oh man. That's, that's a good one. That's gonna help. Zero. Zero. It's dense too, man. Five pounds, two ounces. Five, two. I don't know what to say. 
Bye bye, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Well, hello. That was a little sneaky one. He was like, barely got it. The crazy part is I'm on track very well for a century club and I won't be fishing tomorrow with this weight. That's what's crazy. That's how good this lake is. Got him. Good and good and good and good one. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. This one's a fighter. This one's a fighter. Oh no! Stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. Please, please, please. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, that is too good, dude. Look at that. Oh. I'm gonna reset it. You can, you can try. Seven one? Seven one. So yeah, seven pound, one ounce. Okay. Boom! Yes! Bye, buddy. God, that just fires me up. How good is that, Bob? Oh my gosh, that's fun. Isn't it amazing the time difference? Came through here, nothing, nothing, nothing. Back in there, on the way out. Boom, boom. One more good one, man. Got me shaking. It's got me shaking. <laughs> I can't even tie the knot. <laughs> That's just so fun. So fun to land them. And to fight them. What do I got now? I need one more. This is what I'm good at. I'm not good at like hanging a minnow like way out deep. I like fishing in grass and structure because I feel like I can differentiate the the bass from the bottom to the structure really well. Yeah, just need one more eight. <laughs> just one more. It's a giant. Stay pinned. Come here. Yes! Are you kidding me, Lake Fork? Six pounds. One ounce. Six pounds, one ounce. Meat, meat, six one. Bye, buddy. I knew that was a big one. More, we need more. Yeah. 
six one. Called the juice hole for a reason. Oh my god. Oh my god, please buy that. Come here, sweetheart. No, 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 no. Yes! Yes! Goodness! Yeah. Six pounds, four ounces. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I knew I should have came back here. Gosh, six four. What is that call? A five three? Yeah. Mm. Yes, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. The end of the day, if I don't make it, I had a great day. I've actually, this is the most stressed I've been all week. I just want to make it. <laughs> 90 pounds, three ounces. Do you know where I stand right now? Where? What's I'm sorry, I'm gonna get a little excited. <laughs> hey, can I use your flip flops? They won't let me go on stage without shoes. He's an Elite Series rookie, a Bassmaster Open winner and a classic qualifier from Cooperstown, New York, Kyle Patrick. Today, a big day, 30 pounds and an ounce, giving him 90 pounds, five ounces, and he is your brand new leader. Yeah. Like the sounds of that? I do, I do. What an epic day, epic crowd. You guys rock. Um, this lake rocks, truly amazing. I'm in awe at how many six pounders, seven pounders there are. I mean, I caught all my fish today on a wacky Sanko, and I, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> it truly is. So super special to be standing here and hopefully make the, the top 10. We're going to find out here quickly. Regardless, a great tournament. Kyle finished the day in sixth place with a three-day total of 90 pounds, five ounces, giving him his first top 10 on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He will be fishing tomorrow for $100,000 and a shot at the coveted Century Belt. Get loud for Kyle Patrick! Oh boy, Championship Sunday on the Bassmaster Elite Series is special. Super honored to be here and, and humbled. I think it's going to take just mega weight today. So we got to go out and shoot for 40 pounds. I know that sounds absolutely wild, but we've had 30 pounds a day every day. So, I mean, it's not impossible. You need to catch a big one, maybe two big ones, and, and fill it out with six and a half sevens, and you'll be right on your way. So, I'm going to try my best today, guys. You know, I'm feeling pretty relaxed. I know that sounds crazy to the, uh, to the audience. But I'm gonna catch what I can catch. I'm looking at one right now. And uh, I just hope we can catch, you know, a solid limit and come in head held high after a great week. Truly special week. This is the spot where I ended the day and had that f quick flurry. Um, so I figured with that warmer night that it might just be this, you know, somewhat similar this morning. So we are gonna find out, but it is still tough to get these fish to bite. Let's throw the T. Williams. 
greenfish tackle jig. They are gonna bite in here at some point. It's just a matter of do I leave now to my one zone over there? Or what? Five twelve? Five pounds, twelve ounces. Think he's been caught before? <laughs> you want a picture with him? Nope. nope. I just want to go like that. Bam. Good call coming back here, Kyle. How long do they have to be? 14. They have to be 14? Yep. I don't either. Oh yeah, he is. One eight. Okay. I'll take a bunch of little ones. I don't care. It's 14. It is 14. Yeah, another 112. 112. I will take two more of those, buddy. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Come here, boy. Yes! Come on, baby! Yeah, baby! That is cool. That is so cool that I just broke the century. Right, man. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, man. That is so amazing. Go on to that three bubble. That's okay. 3.0. Three pounds. That's <laughs> all. Man, this is such a cool sport. This is, first of all, I love you. <laughs> Second of all, this is amazing, man. It's just a surreal, surreal moment. That one? Yes. Over yes, I do. Let's get it. Thanks. Sorry, I was a grump all morning. I was having I had the best day. Look at that fish. So pretty. Sure is. There we go. Good shot. Amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. Yes. Gosh, man, that's so cool. That is so cool. Now it's time to get to work. Let's try to win this derb. That is the best four fish limit I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh man. This little creek has been just beautiful to me. It's amazing how fast you're... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, you stay. Oh, no, 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 no. He's fighting. He's not even that big. Yep. What? Get up. 
Nope, I'll get him right here. Come here. Now we broke it. <laughs> Up there at 312. Nope. Three pounds, 11 Three ounces. We're getting there. I think this is gonna to start to pick up out there too. And that's what I'm excited about because out there, those big girls are waiting to come up and play with these guys. Yeah. Century Club! Let's go, baby! They're gonna start biting here. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna help, I promise. Two five. You're god dang right, I'm gonna get free rags. No littering. A little waterlogged, but they'll be all right. It's not a giant one. Okay. Zero? Three one. Three one. I hate that it says three quarters. They are rottenly hard to catch, man. So hard to catch. Boy, that was a bad knot. Oh, no. Okay. Stay on. Five or six. Okay, hold on. It's on zero one. Hold both hands on that. There it is. Six pounds. Six even. I love the call. Write that down. I'm gonna keep casting. It's not a big one, but it'll, will it call? Where are you at? Is what we got to see. See right out. Three, one. Three, one. <laughs> I just went into a pocket where I knew there were two pounders. I caught three of them and I was like, let's go. <laughs> you got a big one? How big? Oh my God. Nine. He is a Bassmaster Open winner. He is a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Cooperstown, New York. Get loud for Kyle Patrick. Kyle Patrick making his very first championship Sunday appearance. Today, 21 pounds and nine ounces gives him 111 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into fourth place. And you joined the Bassmaster Century Club in your very first championship Sunday appearance. Man, that is cool. 
Um, I, I struggled this morning. I was, that's all I could think about was 10 pounds. I just need 10 pounds. And then it picked up for me, um, you know, in the afternoon. But gosh, it's just awesome to, to be to here in my first championship Sunday and get that century belt. Wow. I, I, I'm speechless, truly. You've worked hard to get here through the opens. I mean, your next event's the Bassmaster Classic. Can you get used to crowds like this? Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Awesome. You guys are awesome. This, this facility is amazing. This lake is extraordinary. So you guys have something special here. Thank you. You're not going anywhere. You're going to join the Century Club, so hold that belt high, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for one of these young, amazing rookies, Kyle Patrick. Kyle Patrick joins the Bassmaster Century Club. Wow. It's like Oprah Winfrey, you get a belt, you get a belt, we all get belts. Wow, what an amazing week here at Fork. So many records broken, congrats to Trey McKinney. He truly is a phenomenal angler and, and huge shout out to him. The whole rookie class really showed out the past two events, Toledo and then Fork. Um, but I got a century belt and I am so excited about it. Um, that's that's a, something that you know may never happen again. So. Um, I am, I am over the moon, and uh, can't wait to fish the Bassmaster Classic here in a couple weeks. Thank you guys for watching.